Hey guys, Jordan's Knife Fight here, and we're back, guys, to the another review. And this time, we'll look at review. This time, we'll look at the Transformers War for C Seas, War for Cybertron, Voyager Class, Optimus Prime. Got this here at the Walmart. I think this retail was twenty nine dollars, and this is one Valentine's gift. So happy Valentine's Day. So this definitely looks that's one here. Now you can see I already did review the size one. Before we look at this seeker up, let's take a look at the package first. It's got a nice looking Voyager size package. It looks very similar size. I'll show you compare size. See, he's a little bit tall one. So there's a little bit tall one. Another bit quick look at. It says Voyager class. Get a nice looking, beautiful, beautiful artwork of the Optimus Prime figure. Image of Optimus Primes. Looks sort of like a battle damage. And it's made by Hasbro in 2018 or 2019. It says age and eight and up. On the other side, it's a nice little art. It looks pretty the same. It looks exactly the same for we saw the crazy ones. And on the back of the box. It says work for Cybertron figures number eleven, and it says twenty seven step. Fortunately, there's no bio, there's no re up. Unfortunately, you can't read this bio. It shows a little action feature of the pose gimmick. It shows a little battle masters soul separate. Let's see. It says full blast. In fact, it's got warning signs. We don't want to show gun officer. So now for that, let's take a look at the figure itself. So here is Optimus Prime. It is based on truck mode in his truck mode. And you can see it's supposed to be stained. Doesn't look like stains or not. He is based on a red G1 truck. It looks like some kind of Mad Max truck, a post apocalypse vehicle, whatever. I really like nice detail on his red. Nice little detail. It's got a little Autobot symbol. And he's got a little scratchy paint. There are no stickers, just a paint printed. It's got a little scratchy details. Down here, there's no robot junks. Now, for surgery, he has peg was removed. It's got a little peg hole to his here, to here, and here. Here and here. Here, let's see. One, two. Let's see. There are seven peg holes. Seven peg holes. Now he does it comes with a few different weapons. One he comes with is comes with a well, I guess I'm gonna read the structure. It says ion blasters. Which is nice little black plastic, nice little detail, just a dark details. And he comes with a looks like a Energon battle axe, some kind of battle axe. Nice little detail, just a black, just a black plastic, a little gray. It's more like some kind of X. And you slice it up. Has a lot about scope details. Now, this one has a little roll right here. Now, for Transformer to Optimus Prime, it was pretty simple. It looks surprisingly it looks easy one. Mine's a difficult. First, you open this door. Let's unpeg. First, to do let's unpeg. Okay, open his we'll unpeg his door. We'll take this out. We'll unpeg the front here's. Let's start sliding into Connect. That's a little peg holes to peg into his. 
so rotate. Also, do is pull down and you connect to the piece. This is for this angle. Start bending. Bend it, start connecting pieces. So it's on the trans head, start rotating around. Rotate down. Same thing here, here, it's the same. Hopefully, it was bending. This little peg right here. Let's start. So it's a collapse. We'll snap the piece. Now this little peg holes and this slot in here are crutch. Down. And there we go. Oh, I forgot. Where's his head? Opens the roof. This is Prime's head. And there you have it. Here we have Optimus Prime in his robot mode. This is probably the best Optimus Prime figure we ever got since all the years since the crazy Optimus Prime incarnations. If you remember, I did my last review at the Side swipes, I guess Prime's probably the best ones. I mean, yeah, it looks a way better. We got the Warrior Class Cyroverse Optimus Prime because I hate this figure. Because this R2 was just terrible, gimmick was sucks, it's a stupid idea. This one does not have actual feature or gimmicks. Looks, this is why the Hasbro should have done that because since the Cyroverse line had failed line, so that's a pretty cool line to assist. It's probably the best line of his. I like his detailed teeth. Now, first of all, we're going to size compares. Here's next to size wave figures. Next, here's the size wave figures. This one has old well, six inches. This figure is he's seven inches half. I think it's a six inches or seven inches. Now, this figure looks kind of reminds me from Bollamy's movie where Optimus running a cameo at the beginning films. Speaking of Bumblebee, there was upcoming the Transformers Studio Series number 38 is Optimus Prime Voyager, which is based on the Optimus Prime, the Voyager quest from Bumblebee film cameos, which is, spoiler, you haven't seen a Bumblebee, which is, he makes a cameo in towards the end of the movie. I'm not going to show the clips because they don't want to get copyrighted by Paramount. So, let's take a look, a closer look at head sculpt. I actually like, this is probably the best head sculpt, it looks reminds me of the Vintage G1 Optimus. I like it has detail as eyes, I really like it has his, his eyes are blue, it does nice detail eyes. Unfortunately there's no light piping, he does not have no light piping, there are no light pipings unfortunately. I like his detail, the only thing downsizing me is that one of the actually scratch it that I guess cause I guess make the battle damage. This reminds me of the one he's beating with death by Optimus or Megatron's. Looking at all the dirt paints, scratch of paints. I like the seat on with bound has a little hands. A little back here is his little shell for his backpack. And details. Oh, there's also the variant. There was other figures available. There was the, I think it's called the second of leader class or third wave. I think it's called the leader class of his prime that looks based on a transport cyber trying. What we saw a picture. He knows it comes with a combiner. You can make an armors. 
there's another Optimus Prime figure, at least around the upcoming, from, I think it's Armada Prime, because it's based on. And there's another one, I think it's called Star Convoy, which is, I'm not going to show the picture, because, in case. What better way to see a Toy Fair 2018? Wait to see. Now, for the weapon, the sub damage, he can hold to his knee blasters. Nice fit, nice as hand. Fit his hands. Also, you can hold his axe. Oh, yeah, forgot I didn't show you. Yeah. He has a holding axe. Now, for that, before we look at our two questions, we're looking to look at some instruction booklets. So, the instruction booklets. So the weapon's name it says W15 says dual mech energon strike shields. The other one says ion blasters. It's gonna go stretch of the list. It shows you how to transform to the robo mode. It shows you how to transform to vehicle mode. It's also have peg holes. Make look like this is skinny looks ridiculous. Now for articulation for Optimus Prime, it's heads on a bowl joint. He goes swivel going around. Does up and down that much? No side to side. The kiss headed by pegs, his arms goes up and down, it goes in and out that much because of his shoulders. He has a bicep swivel, he has a bend of the elbow, he does have swivel wrist movement, which is nice, because unlike the side swipe, he does have swivel weight, which is kind of awesome. He has a waist swivel, 360 degrees, and his leg is forwards and back, it goes in and out that much, he has a Oops, he has a thigh swivel, 360 degrees. Then at the knee, or drown, swivel. And there's no bend in angle. He goes angle left or right. He does it because he doesn't like articulations. Now, for the weapons, so there's my review. Overall, this is going to say this is probably the best Optimus Prime figure we've ever seen since the, all the Transformers sees the Cybertrons. I don't have the Transformers of the classic Optimus Prime that back in 2006 we saw a picture which not a fan of that. And speaking of Africa, so I really like nice details. I like it has a weapons and details. The articulation looks excellent. It's dynamic pose. Only problem with complaints that some people do not like, it's a paint, it's a scratch paint. I know that was supposed to make it look like a battle damage. It's supposed to be like a battle damage figures. So I'm very happy got my collection is this. I also try to get the the CS Cybertrons of Megatron that people wanted that's just crazy. There's also available second wave for the things includes the Prowl, Iron High. Oh and speaking of which there was also doing the CSI returns of Omega Supreme Titan class. This is going to be one hack ride. There was also the upcoming the leader class. I think it's called Jet Fire Finger. When you saw a picture, you're like, jeez, look at the size of it. So I'm very excited. This. So like I said, I can't wait to see the Toy Fair 2019. We'll see what it looked like. So anyway, what do you guys think? Let us know your thoughts in the comment. What do you guys think about this figure? Let us know in the comment below. Whether you at it, be sure don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So, thank you for watching. So, bye.